Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for April 2020 and I hope you are doing well and I hope you uh, are you are safe and I do miss you all yes um, uh, I only go live uh, twice a week in English but that might be changing soon um, but uh, at the moment we've got also uh, the series with the witch um, the vlog, the witch's vlog um, we, but this week uh, Wendy couldn't make it also due to coronavirus everybody's locked down and that she's got the children at home so I know what it feels like busy 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 so stay strong darlings and enjoy the time that you are together because soon there will be change trust that okay and here we go uh, if you would like to become a member that would be really appreciated so hit that subscribe button if you're new and hit the bell with the we are in the new system uh, in YouTube has a new system let me put it that way so um, hit the bell and check if you have hit all a L L there's three choices so if you put it on private then you won't get notified only for certain channels so make sure that you have hit all and this is also for a warning for my cyber angels my faithful followers thank you for your support and I hope uh, you will enjoy this reading of course again as well and I'll see you in the life and I've done uh, re uh, interviews and reviews uh, on two decks and I've had interviews with two authors I go and have a look um, and enjoy if you want a little uh, put on your headsets if the kids are at home and whilst the kids are busy then have a look at that and enjoy Yasmin Westwood and Monica Brovinsky and she, uh, it was really really lovely to do and thank you to both authors if they are listening in on this video uh, there is information below this video in the description box and you can also click in the little corner here uh, in the eye in the white circle and that will take you to the website and I've got my first uh, page up with regards to whiplash because that's my other side my I would love to do more with the whiplash and unseen handicaps so perhaps keep uh, up yourself updated with what's going on there from time to time now we're going to start with the reading Taurus and you your first card is heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other how do you expect somebody to know what you feel and think nobody can uh, th know what you're thinking because thoughts are thank goodness private okay if somebody um, uh, is um, not opening up or talking then ask ask so have that conversation you've got the tower now the tower in uh, the Lenamon cards um, means don't forget the people uh, next to you and around you that support you whilst you are working to get to the top means ambition here you can see the tower is built on proper foundations because it's not falling down like in the tarot so you means ambition you want to climb up um, okay but it could also mean in a general reading you might be moving to an apartment or away from an apartment depending on the cards around it now you've got one and nine that means that there is an ending a new beginning this could be that you have reached the top and there is a new beginning wow okay and you've got an ending as you've got the nine of swords so you might be having sleepless nights about your relationship don't worry okay um, because worry put your worry next to your clothes at night 
and let the, the angels and the divine take care of it for you. Okay, in the second week, oh yes, going coming back to the tower, in the tower in the tarot, I do keep it in the back of my mind, you might might not have been able to make a decision so that's when the angels and the divine step in and something's got to change one door is closing and another will open if you are uh, hooked up and have a partner then something will change in the relationship especially if you have a heart to heart conversation okay keep an open mind literally and figuratively not only within uh, regard to your relationship but what the possibilities could be if you are if you already have a partner your soul mate may differ from your usual type of expectations this could be your first partner so perhaps you might have had a fixed idea for example I'm not putting men down, but perhaps if you're a lady, then you expect men to bring back the bread and provide for you and take care of you and that you do the housekeeping. Or if you're a man, you expect the woman to be in the kitchen uh, and take care of the house and the kids and uh, to be there at your whim. No, 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 that is old-fashioned way of thinking. That is not how it works, my darlings. So this is also a wake-up call. Go with the times. You have to be equal. You have to give and take in a friendship, in a relationship. Doesn't matter what kind of relationship it is. Give and take. Don't have any expectations. Give an open mind. If you don't like an aspect, Tell them, have a heart to heart. Be honest to each other. Okay, um, there might be uh, meetings. You might be going out to a party. You might be holding a barbecue, uh, perhaps, or um, who knows? You've got number 20, so that means balance. You are in balance, or perhaps not in balance. So you have to get back into balance. So, um, this means networking. If you're working from home, you might be networking or you might be on the net to seek a partner if you're not hooked up yet. Or um, and the garden means that somebody is, there will be meetings, gatherings, um, and you'll be meeting somebody um, from the past. There will be a reunion. But I'm talking about your relationship and we can't go out at the moment and we've got the eight of swords yeah so that the eight of swords means that usually it's depicted with a woman in a circle with a blindfold on with that feels tied up but she's not really tied up so oh, take that blindfold off open your eyes open your mind keep an open mind Wow how can cards confirm each other see what is in front of you see what the possibilities is have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation if you are ambitious then talk about it how you can do this okay and bring back this reunion uh, reunion play with the word I hear reunion play with the word that's what I hear Reunion, 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 union. Bring back this union. Okay. Now, it's crazy, so it's up to you to make choices. Are you going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation? Are you going to say what's on your mind, that you feel tied up, that you want to be together, to be united, and have this reunion? It's like a reconciliation. You can be together but you can be separate from heart and mind so bring back that heart and bring back that passion and the mind of how you two fell in love and thought the same way and had the same ideals we do grow 
apart from time to time because our needs differ. So talk. You'll be getting a visitor as you have the rider. It's also the nine of hearts, so there might be a wish coming true. And it's number one, a new beginning. Uh, but you could also be going on a visit. You will be receiving news. Woohoo! Love yourself first though. It's re Remember, you'll be more attractive. Okay, and in the fourth week we have trust. This situation is calling uh, for you to have faith. Have faith, especially if you love yourself. Everything will be alright and have an open mind. And have that heart to heart of conversation. But remember, there might be somebody around you that is trying to be a snake in the grass as we have the snake. Now, to me, it means that if you're signing contracts for a new house or anything like that, then be careful of the small print in the contract. That could be the snake in the grass. So if you were, um, if you if you are going to get married and you uh, you are you have to sign a contract with for prenuptial agreement, then make sure that um, you look at the small print. So have it checked out by your advisor, legal advisor. There could be a woman with dark hair. Uh, that could be the snake in the grass. Okay, but have faith that you are all right. You've got the queen of uh, clovers here, and that means a fire sign. So it could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo that could be stirring the pot. But remember, you've also got the ace of pentacles. So it could have to do with money that you have to have a heart to heart about because you do have the messenger and the messenger could also be news official news like I said signing contracts okay for a house prenuptial or a marriage agreement um, there will be a uh, good news financial a good uh, news coming I think because it is the Sun you've got the Sun and you've got the ace of diamonds so that's something that has durability and long term this could be the next level up in a relationship like getting married or uh, getting engaged you could be hearing uh, of birth this could be finding out you're pregnant this could also be about a new job because coins means money and working means money as well you might be going on honeymoon you might be going on holiday you might be moving home so this is what the sun is meaning and that's why I said if you're signing c contracts for a house then look at the small print now the if there is a third party around or you have a feeling there might be somebody um, on in the in the vicinity then you need to have that heart to heart okay and keep an open mind it might just be an advisor it might be just a friend and forgive yourself and the other then you've got the pink card from Archangel Metatron and pink is the heart chakra okay self love and nature wow look at this love yourself first again it is confirming love yourself first self love and nurture nurture yourself spoil yourself make yourself more attractive and you've got 26 26 is 8 you will put you back in your house of power the house eighth house is the house of power you're in your power you're in your strength so take back control love yourself first and I thought this was a key but it is a bubble so um, this could be an extra message you hold the key to what you want to be and how you want it to be resilience angel wings you've got a purple card and the purple card is a spiritual card 
so resilience you are being resistant and you have resilience you are in your strength okay okay Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key the sacred key unlocks your etheric wings so spread your wings okay allowing your heavenly qualities and gifts to bloom that is your spirituality but also spread your wings fly every and be in your own strength love yourself great because if you love yourself you'll beam you'll feel good okay so you'll be more attractive to the other okay Taurus I hope you've enjoyed this reading please share and like I do appreciate it thank you and I'll see you in the life and if not I'll see you in the next video ciao ciao stay safe